was good. Power. Ominous early signs now for Carlton. Punch forward by range. Jim Banfield did well there. And then with a long bomb forward, stake of the target. Oh. Gee, nearly a good one. He brought a couple of blues down with him, though, and forced to kick off the ground in a hurry, Houlihan. Fortuitously to Joseph, takes Banfield on, swings it back to the centre to Robinson, but they're going in quicksand at the moment. The Blues up and down in the one spot. <laughs> Banfield, brilliant. Back turn, handball to space. Brennan can't quite make it work. Back to Thornton, back to Gibbs. They need a steady hand right now. Uh, Brennan was, I think, mesmerised by what Banfield was doing. Thought he was looking in the mirror. Here's an opportunity for Clark. Dragged down inside the 50. Play goes on. Chance for Betts after the football. Still are over it. In goes Merritt. Well done to Johnston. Back to Clark. Clark the short pass. And now Riscatelli. Riscatelli just lays it. Clark runs on. He started back in the goal square virtually. Paddles it to his own advantage. Still going. Valiant an attempt by the big man. Chopped off by Houlihan, though. Looking for Betts. Loose ball. Coming up the ground is Murphy. In the opposite direction was Rich. Gets a hand pass away to Adcock. Back it comes to Patville. Over the top to no one in particular. Well, Carlton had it surrounded. Robinson ran into a dead end supplied by Black. Patville did brilliantly. Gave it to Reigns to Johnston. In front, Staker. Or is it for Bowler? It's Staker. He just fell. Jump out, mate. Jump out. Mate. Clear it out. Brennan, won't me deal with it, mate. Go. Go. They've looked very tired, haven't they, the last three or four that. minutes of play card. And all of a sudden, like the tempo of the game, they uh, they really look fatigued. And the like Banfield's uh, forward pressure work in the forward half for Brisbane's been fantastic. But really, uh, Carlton have just lost their run. And Carlton, the team with the, uh, the seven-day break, too. So yeah. it's probably surprising that they've started a little bit sluggishly. That was a strong mark. Well, he wore a bit too, Staker. And hangs it out to the right for a behind. Brisbane increased their lead. It's out to 10. It's just in Carlton have got Gibbs. They were, Gibbs was trying to get to Brennan, but if uh, if uh, mm. the Lions are sitting on Murphy, sitting on on Simpson, all of a sudden they that, that run, freedom for run through the middle of the ground, becomes a little bit vulnerable for the Blues. Thanks, John. He was 0-3 from set shots last week, Stake. He played very well and ended up with a goal, but a miss there. We'll be talking to Brett Ratton in the quarter time break tonight. So they started well, the Blues, but uh, there's just no movement from the no. Carlton players at the moment. And they do look tired, heavy legged right now. Simpson inside to Scotland. Well, that's not a great kick. I mean, that was just set up for a punch away, a spoil. Johnson's oh. handball wasn't great. Well done, Robinson. Went in hard, kicking in danger. No. Bets down low, Murphy's little give, Robinson's handball, okay to Hulahan. he's normally constructive, that's a good kick, he had to control the leg there. Go, go through, go through, go through, go through here. It was an interesting call by the umpire, it was certainly a heavy kick off the ground, it looked like a Lions player was falling on the footy. Terrific commitment from Daniel Merritt. Maybe he thought he just got the footy, didn't get any contact with yep. the Lions player, that was the only thing you could do. Might have the reason that the umpire decided to let it go. No, Halpin was 1-2 uh, against Richmond from set shots. He kicked three last week. They need to start taking their chances. They had a good bit of the ball in the first ten minutes, but two goals, five. Uh, missed a couple of easy ones. They need to get this one. Well, this kick makes a big difference to how they feel at quarter time, doesn't it? Looking all right, but hooking and hitting the post. Just that little hook at the end. So Favola's got a couple. Brown got one. It's 27 to 18. <laughs> 27 plays, 18 at the Gabba. Thursday night football. That man's got two goals already. Jed Adcock leads all comers with nine possessions. Ryan Houlihan has got eight. One off the ground for Favola. And one... A snapshot. We don't mention those though. Okay. Back in the middle. Quarter number two. One down by Cruiser. Stolen by Rich. Stifled off the boot. Wait, had it smothered as well. Scotland claiming a free kick. Nothing doing. Powell picks it up. There's going to be a Carlton free. It'll be taken by Murphy, who plays on immediately. Wait. 
smothered there by Banfield. He's a lively type. Down goes Rich, picked up by Houlihan. Nine possessions for him now inside the forward 50. Strong hands, almost Henderson's mark. Dragged down was Simpson. And now Merritt to clear, or will he? Betts applying the pressure. Well done by Eddie Betts. Threw it out and... Riscatelli will get the free and or the tackler on the ground. It's coming back to be taken by Merritt. Got to clunk those marks, aren't you? I mean, Henderson got his hands clear. It was only a matter of could he control the ball in flight. Uh, that's the difference between yeah. him if he's going to really make it up there. Cruz at the back, belts it forward. Betts kept it in. And then the handball clever down the line, over the top, towards Yaron. A handball coming from got Murphy. Got an interesting matchup in the Brisbane forward line. Lewenberg had just gone and taken the ruck, and Mitch Clark's drifted forward. And they've uh, Carlton have resorted to uh, young Andrew Walker to play a key defensive post, probably giving away a good six or seven centimetres. So playing a tall forward line, uh, the line stretching the blues at the back. Redden finding some space, and then moves away onto the left, kicks it to the heart of the centre square. Brown and Thornton. Gee, Banfield's been impressive. Spun through one tackle, on the ball, poor opportunity. Been good in the clearances, Carlton, 13 to 6 at quarter time. A lot of that's coming, I reckon, from the Ruckman's second effort at ground level. Gibbs, meters in the clear, runs forward of the wing. Penetrating kick inside the forward 50. O'Halpin almost, taken front on by Maguire. And between the pair, they get the ball out of bounds in the forward pocket. It's really improved, I happen, I reckon, from the, from the time yeah. he came in a couple of years ago. Actually looks like a natural forward almost at the moment. So boundary throw in, pretty much a vacant goal square, although Adcock is going back now. Lewenberger. You weren't even watching the footy and then you grabbed him by the arm. That's against Brennan no, you off the ball. The footy and then you grabbed his arm first thing you did. Was it McGrath? I was watching the whole time. That's okay. Make sure you watch the footy to eliminate any doubt at all. All right? Mark's there. He got on it there. I think we clearly know what the free kick was for. Let's see if we can see it. Second chance, no, not quite, but uh, the umpires are very keen to look what's going on in the periphery of the stoppages for holding Cruz. So Betts, lining up from about 25 metres out, hits the post, their second poster. Should have done better from there. The mistake that Ash McGrath made was he had his back towards goal. I think yeah. that's, that's the dead giveaway for the umpire. Whether the hold was there or not is debatable, but the, uh, the intention was clearly to stop Betts' run at the football. Well, they've missed some chances, haven't they? Halpin hits the post, Betts hits the post. Betts had a couple of chances now. Could get it back here, Scotland, well done. To Yaron down low. All clear. Just a technical question to you, Tom. Do you think that sleeve highlights the hole? <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, you know, I mean, stands out. Well, they're popping up everywhere at the moment with these young fellas, Dennis. Aren't they? How's that for kicking? Magnificent to Patful with a long bomb to fall forward. Clark down there, Brown searching for it. Still Brown, left foot hooking back to the pocket. Well done, Armfield. Favola kept out of the contest by Jamison. That's not bad. Two kicks from one end to the other. And almost the patented Brown mark running with the flight of the ball. Here's Murphy. Interesting to hear Lee talk about Jonathan Brown. Smile in his voice. Obviously, you're a big fan, Lee. Yeah. Hey, Brendan. So, Jamison. He's in the back pocket. Carlton still in touch. Move it on. Fire. Goes for distance around the outer side. Adcock will fly from the side. Well done by Cruiser. Knocked it down to his own advantage. Houlihan, the quick hands. Yaron had it a while. Stolen away by Power. Power feeds it out wide. Sherman just pops it over the top. Black. Now the run of Reigns. Reigns spots a man on the lead. Brown. And put it low and hard to Brown, where nobody else could go and find it. They really, Carlton really need to get more uh, more value out of the slow play. They slow the game right down, and they're playing into Brisbane's hands. And Brisbane, very good last week in the turnover against West Coast, and the same same trend is unfolding now against the Blues. And some worrying signs for uh, Brett Ratner and the coaching staff. Two goals, eight. You can't miss that many shots and expect to uh, be in front on the scoreboard. Starting the night, he booted 42 goals in 13 games against Carlton. Jonathan Brown slots another one. That's his second. It's that, uh, that situation, Tom, as you say, when, when Carlton are hemmed in their defence, they just don't 